Welcome back aliens, my name is Savin Reddy and let's continue with the series on JavaScript. Now in this video, we'll talk about a concept called template literal. So we'll talk about what is template literal later. As of now, let's focus why do we need it. So let's say we have two variables here, which is num1 is equal to seven, and we got num2 is equal to four. Now in this case, I have two variables and I want to perform a very basic operation, which is addition, and we have talked about it, so I don't want to spend much time here. So it's the result is equal to num1 plus num2. So once we got these two values and when once we got a result, I just want to print a very simple statement. And I want to print the addition. Well, first of all, let's print the result here. So just to understand if, if things are working. So let me print result and if I go back here, so let's run this code and let's say app.js and you can see we got 11. So this is working, okay? But the output I'm expecting here is the addition of seven and four is 11, okay? Uh, so basically the statement I'm looking for is, so let me remove result from here. So I, will, I just want to print the addition of num1, the addition of seven and four is 11. So this is what I want in output. So what I will do is I will just reduce the size. Okay, so if you run this code, you can see we got the output, the addition of seven and four is 11. But the problem is I am using this value as it is, right? What if in future, I'm changing the value from seven to nine. In that case, it will, it will still print seven and four. We don't want that. We want this value to be coming from the variables. So can we just simply use this variable name here? So can I say num1 and num2? And here, instead of using 11, we should be saying result, right? But will this work? Let's try. So if I run this code, for this example, what I will do is I will just keep this at the bottom. Okay, so let's run this again, just to show you what is happening. So you can see we got the addition of num1 and num2 is result. We don't want this. We want the values. How do we do this? Uh, there is one way you can use concatenation, but the best way to achieve this is with the help of a template literal. But let me show you how concatenation works with. So basically you have to make sure that you don't write num1 and num2 inside the double quotes. That's the main issue. It is printing num1, num2 num as it is. Okay, what we can do is after this uh, off, we can use a plus operator. So we have to combine multiple strings. Uh, we got num1, again we'll give a plus just to separate it. And we'll say and, we'll give a space and we have to say again double quotes and then num2 and then double quotes and then is double quotes plus result. So whatever I did now, I did it intentionally. I know you might have missed some double quotes and plus. It's very tricky actually. And after doing all this trick, if you run this code, we got the output, right? This is what we are expecting. But don't you think it is a bit complicated? So we have a simple solution to it. The solution is, is template be literal. Uh, the way you can do that is with the help of, so instead of using this statement, we'll use a log and we'll write. So whatever you mentioned now will not be in double quotes, a single quote, but what you will have is in backtick. Now this backtick is a symbol which you can find above your tab button or below your escape button. So we got backtick. In this backtick, you have to mention the addition of num1 and num2 is result. And that's it. It will give you the output which you want. Let's try. Oh, it's not working. So the problem is how it will know that num1 is not a name or it's not a string, it's a variable. To mention that we don't want num1, right? We want the value of num1. To achieve that, we have to use a dollar symbol and a curly bracket. And you can see the color has changed. So this is different, this is different. The same thing can be done with this, a dollar symbol and a curly bracket. The same thing for result, a dollar symbol and the curly bracket. And that's it. So now what you're doing is you're saying the addition of then the value of num1 and the value of num2 is the result. Let's try and we got it. It's working, right? So that's how you use a template literal. Okay, there's one more advantage. Now, since it is template literal, it will literally print whatever you mention. Example, let's say I will say log and I will print my name is Naveen Reddy, but I want to print Naveen Reddy on a new line. So what you do normally is you say slash n, right? Which is new line. And you can see we got the earlier output and we also got my name is Navin Reddy. Navin Reddy on new line. Now instead of using slash n, what you can actually do is you can use a back tick here and don't even have to mention slash n. It's just that write Navin Reddy on new line. Okay, so it will print as it is the way you want. And you can see we got my name is Navin Reddy. So that's how we can use this template to literal. I hope you got something from this video. Let me in the comment section and do something for the videos. Bye-bye.